Using a properly calibrated monitor is another critical component of color management, of ensuring that uh, the colors that you see on screen are accurate and dependable, and you can trust them when you make adjustments and also when you make prints. The fact of the matter is that no matter what monitor you buy from any manufacturer, it's going to have a certain uh, bias towards either warm or cool colors. It's going to have higher contrast settings, perhaps uh, higher saturation settings, and it's not going to be neutral, which means that it's not going to give you pure whites or grays or blacks. And so when you calibrate your monitor, you make sure that you neutralize that warm or cool tint. And again, that's gonna give you a much better representation of your image um, on screen. Another fact about monitors is that the colors shift over time. That's just a function of the way monitors work. And so if you're not properly calibrating your monitor every uh, periodically, every let's say two to three months, those colors may shift, you may not notice. And again, you're going to start to drift away from neutral and true colors. Another benefit to properly calibrating your monitor is that you'll be able to do more accurate soft proofing, another really important critical part of color management. Soft proofing is when you can use uh, Lightroom, for example, or uh, Photoshop to simulate what your print is gonna look like on screen using a specific profile before you actually print it. And so you'll be able to make adjustments if you need to to match what the profiled version looks like and Knowing that you can trust your monitor's colors means that you'll get much closer to the final result and you'll spend less time printing and wasting paper, for example. And finally, if you've got multiple monitors, let's say you've got two monitors like I have here, or you've got a desktop and a laptop, you can calibrate them all. And then you can really see how that'll benefit you when you're comparing prints and comparing the image on different monitors. You can see how my print here matches both monitors because, of course, they're both calibrated. You can easily calibrate your monitor uh, using a measuring device. Uh, Datacolor makes one called the Spider 5 Pro and X-Rite makes one called the i1 Display Pro. Uh, I like the Spider because I like the software. It's really easy to use. It'll also uh, gauge how bright or dark the uh, ambient light in your studio or your home is and allow you to adjust your monitor there as well. Uh, one of the biggest uh, problems that I see with a lot of students is that their prints are sometimes too dark and the main reason for that, I believe, in my opinion, is that the monitors are too bright. If your monitor is bright, your eyes get fatigued much quicker, you don't really notice it, and therefore you start to make your prints a little bit darker. So setting your monitor at the right luminance level, the brightness level, is really important as well. And again, that's something that calibrating your monitor with good software will allow you to do.